What's going down, baby? It's your boy, my high flow, no way, smoking, never choking, but continuously token. Tuning back in for another one of them up church bangers, baby. You know what I'm saying? This is off that new River Rat album. This is Don't Come Knocking. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> if you ain't ready, don't come a knocking. I'm just saying. If you ain't ready, don't come a knocking like he says in the goddamn song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he says in the song. You probably got a room full of bitches. Well, I got a room full of savages. I'm just saying. I'm just leaving it at that. Y'all can wait for the bar. But uh, <laughs> let's get into this, man. I've already heard this song. Like I said, I bought the album. I had to because if you haven't, then that means you haven't heard Mile High on that Hank Hill song. And I feel like you're slacking. So you need to go ahead and purchase that motherfucking album and go listen to the whole thing and go ahead and check out that Hank Hill song because your boy's on that shit. Y'all you know upset. I just had to say that. I'm saying that's just tight. That's just, that's just tight. But look, this is the official music video for "Don't Come Knocking," another really dope, banging ass song off this album. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited because I want to say this is the first official music video that's been released for the for any song off the album. Like I'm pretty sure we have a YZ video, obviously. Not pretty sure we have a YZ video, but that was like a single um, along with like Cornbread, which I, we don't have a video for, but. This is like the first video that's been released since the album has dropped. And yeah, let's let's do this, man. There ain't really much more to say. <laughs> All right, it's church, bro. So uh, yeah, if you ain't a part of the High Fam, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Make sure they on, you know what I'm saying? And you get all the notifications so you can stay up to date when we got moving and grooving. And if you already been a part of this good thing we got going and you're High Fam already, you already know it's good. Spark up, dab up, vape up, dip up, moosh up, sweet tea up, do what you gotta do. Just go up, maybe take a shot, maybe two or three, because a couple's for me. And if you don't do none of that, then open up your noggin and go up that way and enjoy your motherfucking self. And let's do this, bruh. We got Up Church with Don't Come Knocking, the official music video. Spark up, let me finish my doobie too. Hashtag no doobie left behind. Yeah. God, Swag it, mug. it so rains tight. all day. I get text messages all day. All day. I can't day. edit nothing. I can't write nothing. I can't call nobody. I want to. This shit has gotten out of control. Bro, I feel that shit. Man, there be times I be just trying to record or I be trying to like edit something or just, you know what I'm saying? Be trying to just get something productive done during the day. And it'd be like, as soon as I'd be like sitting down to focus on something that needs to get done, my phone goes off, my DMs be fucking cracking off, my, you know what I'm saying? Text messages is blowing up. It's like, damn. Y'all couldn't catch me when I wasn't trying to be productive? Like, damn. It's like, damn. Y'all couldn't catch me when I wasn't trying to be productive? Like, damn. I feel that shit. Let's go. Roll dress in my car. Yo. Hey. And this beat goes in. My bow tie look futuristic. Snake skins when I talk to business. Got a couple people uh. in my household that I put a hole in y'all's common sense. My driveway like car black. Some shit ain't drove in a couple weeks. Got a Mustang GT runs and drives. Getting lost as it disappears in the weed. Look, no cap. I really want a Mustang. Like, that's been one of my, like, dream cars as a kid, bro. Like, one of my favorite cars that I always wanted as a kid that I always imagined myself having one day was, like, a, a two-door, like, little Fox body, uh, little 5.0s, bro. Bruh. I've always wanted one of them little 5.0s, bro. Always. Like, as a little kid, growing up in the 90s, like, that was, that was, that was the shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, when I saw those, I was like, that dude's doing it. Oh, my God. Like, I want one. I'm going to have one one day. Like, I've still always wanted one. And I still just appreciate all the different models um, that Mustang, or Ford, <laughs> has dropped in the Mustangs in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like these new, the new 350 GTs, and I got the 500 GTs or whatever coming out, the Shelbys or whatever. Um, really, really like those. Those are nasty. I'm just, I ain't going to lie. Them is nasty. You know what I'm saying? And then my ultimate, ultimate Mustang, though, if I could, like, have one and just, 
no cap on the money, you know what I'm saying? I could just buy whatever. That motherfucking Mustang from uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. I forgot the motto exactly. Like I said, I just, I like to drive cars. I'm more into just driving them. <laughs> I can't give you all the fucking, you know what I'm saying, ins and outs of shits, but I can drive my ass off. But that would be the one from Gone in 60 Seconds. That Mustang that they stole at the end, the number 50 car. That's the one. <laughs> Let's go. We got people pulling up, dropping up the problems on my doorstep like a bunch of fucking Mormons. Ooh, I'm going bars. Crazy, sitting in my closet, smoking on my weed, and I don't feel like talking news. I can't escape it. That shit is bars, bro. That shit is bars. All these motherfuckers want to drop off their problems at my doorstep like they fucking Mormons. Got me sitting in my closet smoking up all my weed, not wanting to talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I feel that shit. I got enough problems to deal with in my own life and with the people that like I have to take care of and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. That for like any unnecessary people to be bringing me their shit, it's just like I don't got I don't got the time for you, your problems. <laughs> like I just don't got the time all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got you got to understand. You just gotta understand, you know? Like, damn, man. <laughs> there ain't enough weed in the world to smoke a, to, to smoke away everybody's problems. I got, I got enough dealing with my own shit. I'm just saying. Let's go back and listen to that shit again, because that was bars. Weeks, got a Mustang GT, runs and drives, getting lost as it disappears in the weed. Cause people pulling uh. up, dropping off the problems on my doorstep like a bunch of fucking Mormons. Still, I'm going crazy, sitting in my closet, smoking on my weed, and I don't feel like talking news. I can't escape it, even in my head. Homies want my money, bitches want my bed. All I want Ooh. is silence just to clear my head, but I can't. <sighs> Niggas want my money, bitches want my bed. All I want is fucking silence just to clear my fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that is so just real. That is bars. That is real. That is life. Like, oh. This is this is probably one of my favorite songs on there too. I think I forgot to mention this one. Not I didn't. Not think I forgot. I forgot to mention this one. But like I said, the whole album is just a slapper. But like re-listening to this one again, like this one is definitely one of the ones I like a lot too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really like this one a lot too. Let go. I can't even get it. Why I got a bag? But I ain't gonna beg no more. And I won't ask permission. And I ain't gonna feel bad for success that wasn't given. Give it. If you should talk behind closed doors, your room is full, full of bitches. My household hold a savage and some savages live with. So don't come knocking. You catch that? You, you catch the intro bars that I was talking about? You know what I'm saying? Because if you behind them closed doors, you know what I'm saying, talking all that shit, it's probably just because you in that room are a bunch of bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> and uh, it is what it is because if you want to bring that shit over here, son, you're going to get met with me, who's a savage, and the room of niggas that I got who are also savages, and we about that life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just bars, son. That's just bars. Let's rewind that just a little bit too. Gonna feel bad for success that wasn't given. If you shit talk behind closed doors, your room is full of bitches. My household hold a savage. It's when savages live with. So don't come knocking. So don't come knocking. You ain't ready. So don't come knocking. So don't, so don't, so don't come knocking. So don't come knocking. No. Footsteps walking on my front porch. I can see it on surveillance while I take a shit. As soon as I roll out my silky sheet, somebody trying to yank me to a meet and greet. My fucking driveway a mile long. Got 26 trespassing signs. I got two gates. You gotta open yourself with a logging chain that's wrapped around. Made plenty posts saying leave me. I'm just saying. I can't wait to have some land like that, goddamn. He said my driveway is a mile long. Got 26 or 27 goddamn trespassing signs. I got two gates you gotta get through. Like, come on. And if you do get through it, he probably got dogs. And he got you are he already he be posting all the heat. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're trying to come with the fuck shit, you got you got a little bit of ways to get to the house. You know what I'm saying? And you probably ain't gonna make it to the house. Just <laughs> Just saying, let's get to it. if I don't know you, don't come knock, knock, knock. Eventually, Facts, told you. Stop it, bitch, somebody finna pop, lock, drop it. My symphony don't play Ooh, sympathy. Bars. You seeking me to get a sin from me. You gon' finally see that I ain't the me that I used to be. So get used to me, cause I'm trying to Ooh, and that shit's bars too. But I continuously say that shit. I continuously say that shit. 
People do not work hard to be in the same position as they were in the past. They don't work as hard as they do to be thinking the same way. Like part of getting to the next level of life and the next place that you're trying to get to in life is is growing up. It's, it's evolving. <laughs> it's maturing your mindset. It's learning to think differently than what you were as a knucklehead ass kid. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't ever stop thinking like they're knucklehead ass kids. They're 50, 60 years old still thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, and and those people, though, they're the ones who are still talking shit, stagnant as fuck. They've been doing the same shit for fucking 50, 60 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't did nothing different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the rest of us know. The ones who are actually going places in life and have fucking goals and, and are trying to reach these different pedestals of life, that shit, it, it's... it's hard work and through hard work you grow you know what i'm saying through, through growth is evolution bro like you're gonna evolve as a person you know what i'm saying your situation's gonna evolve like your money's gonna evolve facts you know what i'm saying it's us it's all about evolving and, and motherfuckers who ain't best to evolve they're anchors that's what i call them i call people who refuse to to continue to grow and try to achieve i call them anchors drop the anchors fuck them <laughs> And I won't ask permission And I ain't gonna feel bad For success that wasn't given If you shit talk behind closed doors Your room is full of bitches My household hold a savage And some savages So don't come knocking 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 I'm knocking on my fuck yo. Take my advice, it's a one. You fuck boys worry about the wrong one. Conduct yourself like a gentleman on a white horse with a boss gun. Don't point the shoot. I'm just saying, if y'all all lived y'all life high, honest, intelligent, genuine, humble, we wouldn't have a motherfucking problem. Enough said. Public service announcement over. Let's go. Dude, if it ain't worth your time, cause silence is a secret deadly weapon. I'm a mystery to the whole world, cause I only let them see a small percentage. I'm Greek raised, got a couple demons, but I killed them, tossed their darkness in the deep valley. Woo! in a coop, deep, dark, two-tone, getting parked by the valley. Ooh. Fuck opinions like they're starring in a porn. One I day. They should let me click record. I say sweat and even when I don't perform, I'm on a track and I track the country boy. But I ain't gonna beg no more. And I won't ask permission And I ain't gonna feel bad for success That wasn't was given If you shit talk behind oh, those doors oh, Your room is full of bitches My household hold a savages And savages live with it So don't come knocking So don't come knocking So don't come knocking So don't come knocking Fuck out of here Fuck out of here So don't come knocking on it Fuck out of here Fuck out of here. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Don't come a knocking if you ain't ready for these motherfucking savages, son. Shit. <laughs> like I said, Church is the Beast. This whole album that he just dropped, River Rat, is a motherfucking monster track. Not track. Monster album. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this was a monster track. The whole album, though, River Rat, is a monster-ass album, though, bro. Like, I low-key think that this is one of my favorite albums of the year, of 2018. Deadass. And I wouldn't have even been mad at him for teasing us even a few days longer and dropping it, like, on the first. I wouldn't have been mad at him for it. I wouldn't have. To be able to put to have like 2019 as the release year for this album because this is definitely an album that I'm gonna listen to well in the next year. That's just a fact. I feel like all of us are gonna be like that with this one. We're all gonna listen to this shit well into 2019, and we'll probably compare it to a lot of shit in 2019 because it's so goddamn close. Like a lot of us are closed out on 2018. We ain't even fucking worried about it. You know what I'm saying? We in these last few days, like. We, we, we're already bringing in the new year. We're already feeling like it's 2019. You know what I'm saying? So I already know. I'm, I'm going to be comparing this shit to shit next year. And that's just what it is. <laughs> it, it was just too close of, of a drop of, you know what I'm saying, for 2019. Like it was almost a 2019 drop. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. But yeah, man, I enjoyed myself. Church done did it again. You know what I'm saying? He done did it a month again. You know what I'm saying? Church is a beast, bro. That's all there is to it. And uh, like I said, we need to spam him. Spam the shit out of Upchurch. Spam him to death with 
Mile High needs to be in the Hank Hill video. Mile High on the Hank Hill video. Mile High on the Hank Hill video. You know what I'm saying? Mile High on the Hank Hill video. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would love to be on that video since I'm on that motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? My voice is like, that shit is so lit, bro. I still just can't get over that shit. Like, that shit is, that's lit. It's just, it's like some of the most humbling shit ever. Like, to just like have like that feeling of knowing that you're doing something good like people are like respecting you and loving what you're doing like it's fucking great bro i love you guys there is no me without you i have to say that there is no me without you you are the most important part of this whole situation where i am the smallest minuscule part of this whole fucking shit bro like i i'm this big to y'all's this big you know what i'm saying like y'all are big and in the most important way you know what i'm saying like i love you there is no me without you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Always remember to live your life high. Honest, intelligent, genuine, and humble. Look yourself in the mirror. And ask how you live in that way. You know what I'm saying? Peace. Oh, tell yourself that you're looking real, real good too. Peace. I don't have no energy, you are not my enemy I know that you're really not the person you pretend to be I cannot let the shit that you say get to me You cannot run game on me, I am more invented I